a very pleasant morning everyone today we'll be learning how to deal with checkbox questions while analyzing our data so checkbox question is when a respondent has uh, selected multiple options for a particular uh, for one particular question here is an agriculture data and here uh, we have the gender state that the particular respondent belongs to and the question is which factors are taken into consideration when determining the timing and method of irrigation uh, method of irrigation for growing rice in the field so he has uh, the respondent has uh, selected soil moisture climate availability of irrigation sources uh, so they have they they chose uh, multiple options uh, for one particular question and now when we are going to analyze it you know uh, the pivot tables won't work we have to sort of take a transpose uh, for if each and every respondent what we truly want is uh, let's suppose soil moisture climate availability and then one more option yeah sorry what if uh, we want to we want our data in this particular format so that we would get the percentages of each option uh, and uh, we are able to uh, provide we are able to create a chart for uh, the data that we are supposed to analyze so again let's get back uh, i'll show you a technique how we can do it in a most easiest manner so just uh, it would be applicable on windows version uh, from 2013 and upwards onwards you can apply uh, uh, this particular technique would be applicable so first go to data sorry first go to power Qu uh, query go to from table and range my table has headers if you do not have power query go and first install that plugin and then you have to follow the same steps for that i'll make another video it would take some time uh, basically maximum 10 seconds so you select the particular column wherein you have the checkbox questions go split uh, go and select split column by del delimiter and we have comma here so we go and select comma advanced option split into rows we want the rows and now we have our data here all you need to do is just close and load the data and a new sheet would pop up wherein the data is right in front of you if you look at here look at here we have a uh, total n is 180 but then when we are uh, when we go and select um, this particular column if you truly look at the left it is 526 it is the 180th respondent but total we have now one 526 rows from 180 rows now we have 526 rows and now uh, we can go and select um, analyze our data from the data and uh, create pivots uh, tables and create charts from it also making sure ki we are for uh, we are using the uh, social demographic or the gender the region that the person belongs we are uh, utilizing that data as well so thank you